What's happening everyone? Max here. We are back for some more F1. If you're new to my channel, I'm a communication skills coach. And what I do is I look at all different types of people's communication skills and I give you my thoughts. So we're gonna check out a compilation today. This was a, a very popular one on YouTube. F1 drivers being savage for 11 minutes straight. Let's get right into the video today. Uh, Lando. I gotta go to an appointment. So um, I'm gonna have to ditch you if that's all right. Wait, are you, are you serious? I'm serious. Uh, yeah, I gotta go like now now. So um, oh, you uh, don't mind hopping out quick? Um, okay. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, right, right. I forgot the compilation is called Savage Moments. That seemed like a little bit of an act, but at least we got to see some of Lando's humor on display there. Yeah, man, uh, and uh, for the once again, the most unsportive driver of the Suck grid. Suck my balls, mate. Yeah. Wow. Who was that? Who was that guy? You see some confrontation in this sport. I mean, no shit, right? Look what they do. Sumatta <laughs> kyllä. Hey, f*** off. Yeah, but I'm doing this, so I... Is that Kimmy? F*** off now, I can finish. <laughs> they tell him that I come when I finish. Go! Oh. Okay. My boy Kimmy, right? Kimmy doesn't take any shit, baby. None. And I've seen him push someone before. I think I saw him push a photographer who was all up in his in his grill. So Kimmy doesn't have an issue getting physical if he needs to. Now, that's a guy who will stand up for himself and does not take any shit. First of all, Russian media has no fucking clue about anything, and uh, I think that uh, I think that this. Are Who's this dude? This is a great video. Who's this dude? What do you listen to, Rock. Yeah. Like 70s and 80s. I love the 80s. But you are more into your senorita stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when Sebastian. It seems like when he delivers a joke. His tone almost remains the same. You are more into your senorita stuff. At times, it feels like it's a little bit more difficult to detect when he's being sarcastic, which can come across as more savage. But I find him, from what I've seen, I haven't seen a lot, but I find him to be very, very quick. He's very quick-witted. And he can turn on the charm when he wants to. Really smart guy. I know it's a pain, but is there any way you can take your glasses off? No. <laughs> no. I think my favorite thing to watch are Kimmy moments. He's so real. Before she could finish her sentence, no was already coming out of his mouth. Your glasses off. No. He doesn't think before he speaks, not in, in a way that is, is negative. It's just in a way that feels very, very authentic to him. That's got to be one of the major reasons people are drawn to Kimmy. That was amazing. Uh, you better do it quickly, otherwise I go inside, so... Okay. Yeah, it's like, hey, like, you've gotten me here, I've taken my time to come sit down and commit to this interview, and now you're asking for something else? It's like, come on. Tation by Pele. Yeah. Will you get over it? <laughs> yeah, I, I was having a shit. <laughs> Again. You had so many uh, accidents. I don't know. And um, like I said in the beginning of this press conference, I got really tired of all the questions. So, yeah, I think if I get a few more, I'll headbutt someone. Ooh, Max did not like that, huh? I think if I get a few more, I'll headbutt someone. Sort of started smiling at the end of that. I mean, I think he caught himself at the end. I think he was amused by his comment. But he seemed pretty serious, man. I don't think he was fucking around there. So I think there we saw a moment of Max kind of losing control of his emotions a little in that moment. But hey, when you're pushing a guy like that, that anger is, uh, is bound to happen, especially with a competitive guy like Max. Uh, Max can only imagine the frustration and the emotions at, at the end of the race for you. Can you just explain what happened between you and, and Esteban after the race we saw? Your altercation, did he do anything to an antagonize you? And will you try and speak to him at once, sort of emotions have settled down later on? Um, I don't really have a lot to comment on that, except that he was being a pussy. Woo! Okay, <laughs> okay. So Max letting his emotions get the best out of him here. Netflix are a real bunch of cunts, aren't they? Uh, I'd love for them to play that. <laughs> They're not gonna play that. 
Kimi, <laughs> you're See, that wasn't savage to me. Again, like, look at the, the contrast between a guy like Kimi. Hey, f*** off. Compared to a guy like Daniel. Netflix are a real bunch of cunts, aren't they? Daniel, when he says something, it's not with a straight face, it's with a smile. Kimi, it's almost always with a straight face. And the bite is so much harder with Kimi because it feels very authentic and real. Whereas Daniel, when he delivers a, an insult, it doesn't come across as harsh in the slightest because it's matched with a large smile. <laughs> Kimi. As if he's joking. In 12 days until we're in Australia, what are your plans now between what are you going to be doing over the winter break? What are your plans? <laughs> <laughs> You seem to be counting the days. Can't wait. <laughs> well, Seb, why don't you start? What are your plans? Um, the baby. I actually think I saw something come up on my YouTube about Sebastian Vettel flirting with people. So there's like a flirting compilation with Sebastian. Smooth. What are your plans? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like Max and Lewis really appreciated that too. See what happened? I spun. And a bit of a disaster then for you and for a few others with the yellow flags. I don't care what happened to the others. <laughs> and he doesn't. And he doesn't. Can he just shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> well, Kimmy, if we could start with you, please. Yeah, it felt like, like a younger Max Verstappen was like a little bit more erratic was a little less in control than what I've seen recently of him. Can he just shut the fuck up? <laughs> like it seems like over the past, I don't know, one, two years, he's really matured and gained a lot of composure. Can you just talk us through what's happened and why you're on the move next year? Well, I guess you know what happened. <laughs> you know? What, what, I know what, what else you want to know. But Kimmy, what have you been told about the performance? Just tell us why you want to go back to Salba? Because I want to go. I mean, I don't, I don't, why you try to make it so complicated? Keeps things simple, right? I think part of it is, yes, he is a simple guy, but he also doesn't feel the need to disclose information about himself. He doesn't seem to want to or like to. What else you want to know? When he gets pressed about more disclosure, I think that's when we see him sort of fire back. Why you try to make it so complicated? He's sort of made for these viral moments. Yes, he's a very authentic dude, but he's also more on the introverted side, it seems like. And he's not as comfortable disclosing things about himself, in addition to him just not caring to. Passionate about racing, the fire is still... No, I don't, like... I'm not actually, you know. I'm just by, by, uh, pure, uh... Head games for you guys. I, <laughs> I happen to sign and I'm gonna spend two years there. Just not be happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, Kimmy, thanks for the insight. Let's. Uh, Lewis is amused. I feel like Lewis appreciates Kimmy. He could appreciate how direct and forward he is. If anyone's gonna make you feel stupid, it's Kimmy Raikkonen. <laughs> His tolerance for stupidity is, is very, very low. Like his BS meter is on full alert. I think that's what I'm starting to really appreciate about Kimmy. Let's no move on. Uh... Okay. There's Lewis, right? Wow, wow. Crazy, some, some passive aggression there, it seemed like from both parties, a little bit more forward, outwardly aggression there from the dude sitting on the couch, but, huh. You're driving what you're doing, man. Grosjean? Yeah. What the fuck was I doing? Yeah, because you were on the outside, the dangers, you came back, wow, man, you pushed up the track, whoa. I didn't even know I was racing Grosjean. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, cool. Thank no you. <laughs> Excusez-moi. Then the last lap. That was fun, but then they said you, you're dangerous as well. Yeah. <laughs> fuck them all. How does that? Good to hear Daniel saying fuck them all. Like, Daniel is like the least hot headed driver, at least off the track that I've seen. And it's almost like he doesn't want to go there. It's like I don't, I, he doesn't want to take it to that confrontational level to the point where it feels like at times he sort of goes into people pleasing mode in order to keep it that way. And I don't know if it's necessarily because he wants to be liked. Yeah, he's just not comfortable with that, that confrontational energy. I just don't think that's the type of guy he is. 
So he'll go sort of out of his way to, to avoid it. The Kimi Raikkonen interview, Kimi's coming in now, just the final word. Is your hunger for a second title the same as your hunger? Of course Kimi's going to be the star in a compilation called F1 Drivers Being Savage. Just the final word. Is your hunger for a second title the same as your hunger was for a first? Reporters love asking Kimi this hunger question, huh? <laughs> no answer. Fair enough. Okay. How do you feel about being back? There you go. Hey, Danny. <laughs> Big moment. Yeah, he can't stand that question. <laughs> so it's like that tolerance for stupidity is very low, so he thinks it's a stupid question. Two, he's annoyed by the fact that he's asked that question so many times. Three, I think just a part of his personality, being the more introverted guy that he seems to be, doesn't really want to share these things with the media, he doesn't want to disclose these things with the media. And four, he's okay with being disagreeable, he's okay with being confrontational to a degree, and he's going to remain true to who he is. So you get all these factors in play, and then you've got these amazing moments that Kimi Raikkonen produces. Good. Cool. And exciting. Okay. <laughs> English isn't your first language, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yours? Compelling. Man, I don't even know what's compelling. Me. That's why I think Daniel's so good. Part of why he's so good at bonding with people. He'll he'll make fun of people and he'll do it with ease. Like he makes fun of people with ease. But again, watch when Daniel does it. It's accompanied with a big smile. English isn't your first language, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> As a way to say to Max, hey, I'm joking and you're my boy. We starting 20, 19th and 18th. Your thoughts, please, on any discussion that people talk about a reverse grid. Well, I think it's complete bullshit, to be honest. <laughs> That's exactly what. Of course. Nice. See, Lewis appreciates the authenticity and the honesty. <laughs> That's exactly what. Although Lewis seems to be a little more polished and composed and sort of in the box and more sort of publicly aware of what he says, he can certainly appreciate when other people do it. So how many times did you hit the barrier? Only twice yesterday. And, Only and twice. And Max, your, your score? Or you lost count? Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you, mate. Thank you. Last uh, year, he lost count. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. And that's, Max seemed to take that in stride, but I think those little things get to him. Drive. The AMG. Didn't kill me, at least. <laughs> Hey, Mickey, no, man, there's a quite a lot of snow here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good to see Lewis joking around, having some fun. That was a good one. Hey, Kikulta Turun Sonomat. Kimi, did you have any temptation to go to drive the simulator to get better settings for you? No. Okay, it's pretty clear. <laughs> I could watch Kimmy all day, man. Just everyone's reactions to Kimmy are funny, too. When was the last time you got rejected by a girl? <laughs> 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Probably the last time you went out. When was the last time you went out? Whoa! If you have to ask a Why girl do I always out, get these questions? Do you call her or text her? Now, this is what great. What's happened to Kimmy Raikkonen? He's asking them where they where going. They go. Kimmy does not want to be walking if he can't help it, and I think he's earned that right. <laughs> Kimmy's like, "Fuck this!" Awesome. What a great, great compilation. I'm glad I'm learning a little bit more about the drivers, seeing their personalities, seeing their funny sides. And guys, I just reacted to F1's top 10 press conferences. So if you want to watch my uncut reaction of this plus that video. That's on my Patreon page. I've included the link in my description below. Other than that, I appreciate you being here. My name is Max. I'll catch you soon.